Hi, my name is Ravishankar Pegada. I am a senior technical marketing engineer here at Palo Alto Networks. In this short video, I am going to provide a demonstration on how to create Cloud NGFW using Azure portal. Let's consider the deployment topology that's displayed over here. We are going to create Cloud NGFW service in order to secure application workloads within customer subscription. In order to route this traffic, we are going to utilize public and private subnets part of hub vnet within customer's subscription. Let's get started with creation of Cloud NGFW service. Creation of Cloud NGFW service on Azure portal is pretty simple. Start typing Palo Alto and you'll be presented with Cloud NGFW by Palo Alto Networks. Click on this and click on create in order to start creation of Cloud NGFW service. Within this basics tab, select the subscription using which you wanted to create Cloud NGFW service and the resource group into which the service needs to be created. You can use existing resource group or create a new resource group. Provide the name for the firewall and select the region into which you wanted to have Cloud NGFW created. Within the networking section, you'll be able to select the type of infrastructure into which you wanted to have Cloud NGFW service integrated into. For this demonstration, let's consider virtual network. This virtual network here represents the hub vnet that we have seen part of the deployment topology. We'll be creating this virtual network along with private and public subnets automatically as part of this workflow. You'll be able to select an existing vnet with private and public subnets as well. Public IP address here will be utilized to provide inbound access for spoke vnets within customer subscription. You'll be able to create a new public IP address or use an existing public IP address if at all there is one already within customer's subscription. Enable SourceNAT in order to secure your outbound internet traffic. Here, you'll be able to use the same public IP address that is used to secure inbound traffic by selecting this use the above public IP address option or you'll be able to create or use a different public IP address in order to perform source NAT on the outbound internet traffic. Let's select use above public IP address. Click on next which will take you to security policies. In this section, you'll be able to decide on how you wanted to manage your security policies that are going to be associated to this Cloud NGFW service. You'll be able to manage security policies using Azure portal itself or you'll be able to manage using Palo Alto Panorama. Let's select Azure portal rule stack. A new rule stack will be automatically created as part of this create workflow or you will be able to use an existing rule stack as well. You can also select a default rule either allow all or deny all when you are trying to create a new rule stack. Click next to provide DNS proxy settings. By default DNS proxy is disabled. You can click on enable and configure DNS servers to have this act as a DNS proxy. Click next in order to add tags to all the resources that are going to be created part of this Cloud NGFW service creation. Accept the terms, review the configuration and click on create in order to create Cloud NGFW service. Creation of Cloud NGFW got completed successfully now. Go to the resource group and here is the Cloud NGFW by Palo Alto Networks. You'll be able to see that on successful creation of Cloud NGFW service, you'll just be presented with the public IP and private IP address using which you'll be able to route the traffic towards Cloud NGFW for inspection. Thank you.